We begin this evening with an LEX 18 investigates on the arrest of a woman at a local hospital. This is police body cam video of the night she claims police and staff treated her poorly because she's homeless. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has been looking into the incident and has details in tonight's LEX 18 investigates. I'll drag you out and throw you out on the sidewalk. March 10th, 2022, Linda Trapps trip to the hospital ended with her handcuffed on the ground. And according to Trapp, the arrest left her with a broken leg. Lexington police said she was trespassing and had resisted arrest, but Trapp and her attorney disagree. Why do you think you were treated that way? Because it was categorized as being homeless. They have filed a lawsuit against Lexington Police, the contractor that runs St. Joe's ER, and a doctor, claiming her arrest led to a half a million dollars in medical debt. You broke my knee. They allege a Lexington police officer used excessive force and that the 61-year-old was falsely arrested in the first place. They were taunting her. Uh, it was sort of a, a group mentality or mob mentality. They were really taunting her and making fun of her. Yeah. Like, her. It all started when she was taken to the hospital by ambulance after a fall. But while she was in the St. Joe East Emergency Department, Hello. Hello. What's going on? Police were called. A healthcare worker can be heard on police body cam video saying that Trap had tried to hit them and wouldn't leave. Okay, well it's time for you to leave. Uh, I get one. Huh? Jail, I guess. I'm not taking you to jail. You need to leave. I'll drag you out and throw you out on the sidewalk. You just want somewhere to you just want somewhere to sleep tonight. That ain't gonna happen. Trap, who's homeless, stays at the Catholic Action Center and needed a negative COVID test to go back. These people won't give me a negative COVID. You don't need a negative COVID test to stay on the yes, street. Yes, I do. Not to leave on the street, no, you don't. After repeated urging from police and medical staff. Here, put your jacket on. It's cold out there. Let me hold your paper. I'll hold your paper. How about that? Trap did begin leaving on her own. Albeit reluctantly. You have to go outside. Yes, you have to go outside. And stay outside. Yes. Where do you live at? You homeless? As Trap walks away, she stopped and continued to ask for her cane, which nurses said she didn't bring. Watch what happens next. Yeah, I you don't have a cane, Linda. Go get. A cane. Go don't find a tree it. branch or something. <laughs> I yes, brought get, a cane. Go get your tree branch. There's some good trees over there downtown. I brought a cane here. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Go. You're a liar. You're a liar. Three twenty, four C. Uh, yeah, um, no, you're not gonna hurt me. Go ahead and start at ten sixty. What? No. no. They humiliated her. Use your hands. They were, they were telling oh her to go God. ahead and leave, and she said, I need a cane. They said, grab a tree branch. She was never told that she was under arrest. She was never told to put her hands behind her back. She was grabbed and forcefully taken to the ground. We showed the video to Jenny Ramsey and an assistant at the Catholic Action Center to see if protocols were followed. Hold you to leave. Refuse to listen. She was leaving. All she asked is to go get the COVID test. Are they supposed to discharge her to the streets? The problem is, is that she was just in the emergency room and that's not considered a discharge. But as human beings and as humanity and as a, a faith-based hospital, uh, you know, I can't believe they would not make the effort to find a way for her to get back to the center. Right. Instead of treating right. Trap for her leg, you, you can do that with your doctor in the office, okay? Uh, the lawsuit says she was taken to jail, later x-rayed, then hospitalized for a broken leg. We reached out to Lexington police for comment, but they told us due to the pending litigation, they couldn't say anything about it. But we did receive the personnel file of the main officer involved, Miles Foster. And according to what we saw, there's no mention of the incident. So we went back to Lexington police to see if there had been any review of it, something that wasn't listed in this file. Again, Lexington police told us they couldn't comment. 
St. Joseph's Hospital, which is not named in the lawsuit, released a statement by its parent company, which says in part, they prioritize the safety and well-being of patients and their caregivers and are also concerned about the growing prevalence of violence against nurses and staff and encourage their caregivers to seek support if they feel threatened. As for Linda Trapp, she acknowledges she had been drinking and was a handful for hospital staff that night, but says the visit shouldn't have ended this way. She tells me she has received good treatment and care at St. Joe's in the past. If they'd given me a test, yes, it would have come back negative and I would have made it back here. There was no reason why someone did not reach out and be sure that at 1030 at night on a cold night that she did not have a way back. And that could have avoided all this. All of us deserve compassion from our police, from our hospitals. We did not see that with the way Linda was treated. Linda is part of a marginalized community, and you can see that night on the video that she was uh, dismissed. She was literally shooed away from the hospital, um, and she was wrongfully arrested. Hmm. Well, Leah is here now, and we've seen a good portion of the body cam footage now, but what about the, the police report? Well, Trapp's attorney believes that there are some obvious discrepancies. Take a look. Here is a copy of that police report on your screen. It states Trapp refused to leave and that after being advised, she was placed under arrest and began to aggressively resist by throwing her arms around and pulling her arms away. On the video, we listened to it many times. We did not hear the officers tell Trapp that she was being arrested before they grabbed her. Also, the citation says she dropped her weight instead of being forced to the ground. Trapp's attorney strongly disputes that. Wow. Well, people can watch the body cam video for themselves on our website. We posted the first 10 minutes of when officers arrived until Trapp was arrested. You can go to lex18.com to see that. Lee, thanks so much.